Hello everybody and aloha. Welcome to another episode of the Campbell Chronicles. Here we are finally at Disney's Alani Resort and Spa. We are finally here. Very excited. This has been such a long way for us to make it back home. This is our DVC home resort and we couldn't be more thrilled to be back. Now we've spent all day traveling. We finally got here. We were visiting the island of Maui, but now we're definitely here. Very excited. I'm going to give you a quick room tour and then we're going to the Makihiki dinner tonight. Very excited to bring you along, show you some of the sights, show you some of what we eat. I'm going to do a voiceover because my kids are kind of loud. They're watching TV. Emily's parents are here, so you'll see them. Let's go ahead and snap over to the room tour. And before we get started, I figure since I'm out here on the balcony already, I'll just show you the view that we have. Now we are in a special situation. We're actually going to be moving rooms. We're now on the island side. Tomorrow we're going to be over on the garden side. So I'll try to edit in some footage of the garden side as well. Same exact room set up though. This is a dedicated two bedroom room. Thing to note, this is similar to the pool and ocean view. Depending on how high you are up, we will change from a standard view all the way on up to an island or a garden view. Just depends on how high you are up. This here, this we are currently on level 10. So that's where we're at. Tomorrow, I'm not sure what level we'll be at, but we'll definitely have the other side where we can check out the garden view. It's booked in the same category, so it's a little funky, and I had a little misunderstanding with that, and I already talked to him. We, are get, we got things situated, but anyways, I just thought I'd let you know, depending on how high you are, depends on whether you're a standard view or an island garden view. All right, so as promised, back in the studio with the overlay here. 1061 is our room number here, and as you can see as you walk the door, one of the things I really love about Alani is all the art. You got it on the door, you got it right as you walk in here. Each little picture is telling you a story, I love it. First thing you'll see here is the what I would call the guest bathroom. Turn the lights on, and it's just a toilet, and you got a little bit of storage there. Again, just showing you it's directly to the right as you walk in. Uh, nice little setup there, I do like how it's kind of right there, readily accessible. Sink, trash can underneath, nothing too special about this one. You got some more artwork, which if you look hard enough, you may find our little friend there. But yeah, so taking it out over to the other room now, you'll find as you walk into the left is our full kitchen. That's right, it is a full kitchen. You have the oven, the microwave, the refrigerator. It is fully stocked, as you can see. Glasses, uh, wine glasses, measuring cups, anything you can think of really that you would need to cook. Uh, coffee cups, small plates, you got larger plates, bowls, and so on. It's really, really well stocked. We really didn't have a problem with that. Finding something to that we needed, it was there it was really nice dishwasher for you now we actually did use the dishwasher a few times it was a solid dishwasher no complaints there underneath you do have actually garbage disposal so if you're doing a little heavier cooking absolutely use it uh, in the other side here some cleaning supplies some more storage you got a drying rack there you also have some pots and pans just some more food storage if you need to store some leftovers which we did we used them uh, forks, knives, silverware, you have some chopsticks, which is unique to Alani. I'm pretty sure not any other resort will, at least Disney Resort, will provide chopsticks for you. But otherwise, they did have some steak knives along with some butter knives as well it's for some distinction there. Cooking utensils and more and more storage. I loved how much storage there was. Pots, pet. we actually didn't use any of the bigger pots. We used some of the smaller pans, though. Forgive our mess. We are a family of five and we are not afraid to show it. As you can see from the kitchen area, you can see Nana, Papa, Jackson, Laurel, and Evelyn, and Emily over there in the right corner. This right here, awesome. Loved, loved, loved having a washer and dryer in the room. Fantastic. No, there wasn't the largest capacity, but that's fine. It's in your room. You can totally just do it. And we used it probably three or four times at least. Dining area. I was happy with it. I wish it had a little bit nicer seating on the other side, uh, you know, for people who need back support like me. <laughs> but Nana and pa that's Nana and, and Evelyn waving there. Otherwise, the seating area in the kitchen, Papa waving. You got Laurel on the couch and Jackson over there on the right. They, in the little footstool there, there is some more storage space for blankets and pillows. Um, hideaway couch in the cushions there. I, now my kids were able to sleep on this. They did like to rotate around. The girls usually use this as a bed and they loved it. It was very comfortable for the kids. I'm not sure how comfortable adults would be, but yeah, and this is just showing you here underneath the little ottoman here, the space and the blankets that they have. So yeah, this room can technically sleep nine and Emily is actually sitting on the place where the third person in this room can sleep. It is a pullout sleeper as well, just for one person though. 
Uh, as you, it was pretty easy to set up, honestly. Not very hard at all. So coming over here, I like the art again. You see little Mickey surfing in the waves. You got uh, beautiful lighting throughout all the resort, honestly. There's the balcony. We'll get that in a minute. But over here in the living room, you do have more storage, which includes your safe, a laundry hamper, which we did use, of course. Uh, that is a programmable safe that you can use. Plenty of hangers. You're not going to run out of hangers, that's for sure. This is the first bedroom. As you can see, you can sleep four people in here, two adults comfortably. Um, very nice. This is where Nana and Papa were staying during our trip. They are adorned with their own TV. They have their own desk with their special Mickey lamp. Uh, we may or may not have had to bring one of those home, but uh, <laughs> there's me. Hi. Um, and yeah, I'm just really pointing out the frame on that one. I love the frame. More balcony. We'll get to that in a second. And then you also have down there their own private bathroom. Some more artwork I'm just showing here. I loved the artwork. It just is so good. Their own personal closet. Again, you're not going to run out of hangers, that's for sure. You put your bags in there if you want. You got luggage racks. You got a full head to toe mirror. In their bathroom, starting off with the tub, uh, the tile work is actually very beautiful here. You got the cobblestone. Well, I don't, I don't know if it's technically cobblestone, but it looks like cobblestone. Running up and down the faucets and the handles, all the way up to the shower heads. Now, there are two shower heads in this shower. You got the one you can see there that is detachable and the rainfall shower head. Lighting, perfect. I love actually having a light above you while you shower. H2O products, uh, we may or may not have come home with some because they are fantastic. Again, look at the framework on the mirror. More artwork, which you may find uh, more friends if you come across and uh, are looking at them, but otherwise a typical uh, bathroom there. Um, but yeah, very, very cool. Very fun to look at. Very, uh, very, I mean, it's just fun. I don't know how else to explain it. Now we are turning back around, going through the living area to the master bedroom. This is a very cool master bedroom. King size bed, full king size bed. Love the little touches. They did put a flower on there, but it got nabbed quickly. And of course, Eco and my welcome home, the Campbell family. Being DVC members, we love coming back every time. It's just so much fun. You also have our Mickey over there, along with some bedside tables. Now, the wish I wish there was more outlets by the bedside tables. At least I should say more accessible outlets, because there are outlets behind those bedside tables. Uh, just a little tricky to get to at first, but once you're plugged in, you're good to go. And we got the flower back. How about that? There's some movie magic for you. Otherwise, you got a notepad. Um, the pins are awesome. I took some of those home because, hey, I love Alani pins. Into the master bathroom now. As you can see over here on the left, we have some storage. This is going to be the main closet for them. Ironing board and an iron. All the hanging space you need, plus a pack and play. Now, this could technically sleep 10 because you could bring an infant and use that pack and play that they bring with you, that they provide for you. So it's nice. Here's your uh, toilet room. Uh, just again, simple, just a toilet room. The same artwork that you found over in the other bathroom is also in here. This is the master shower. Turning the lights on, you can see much better tile work done with the stone running up and down, emulating a waterfall. It did a fantastic job. You got the tiled bench. Uh, again, two shower heads here. You got the one handheld detachable and the rain head as well. Again, perfect lighting really really makes that lighting you can't skimp on the lighting h2o products of course in the bathroom in the shower and on the sink you have plenty of storage space with plenty of towels hand towels and washcloths um, never really complained about the space with the two of us you have the same tile work that you had in the shower that emulates water falling i love it it's just so good jacuzzi bathtub that was very large very large tub i'm a pretty big guy and i could sit not comfortably not big on the bass, but hey, I could. But one nice thing about this tub is you could slide those shutters back and watch some TV if you wanted. Going outside, we do have the view of our balcony from the garden side. The island side view that we had at level 10 was much longer. Here you have just two identical triangles. Love seeing the luau though. All right, so the plan for the rest of the day is we're just gonna go explore the grounds and we're gonna go to the makahiki dinner. Very excited for that. It's a three course meal. It used to be the buffet, but I guess they took that out. So we're not doing the buffet, we're gonna do the three course dinner.
All right, so on our way to dinner right now, I just thought I'd come out and show you some of the shots, uh, show you the ocean view of the resort before we actually head to dinner. Um, but yeah, I, one thing that's all I've always been fascinated with when it comes to Hawaii is just how well the grounds are kept. From the bottom to the top, every single time I come here is just absolutely beautiful, every single time. Anyway, so that's one of the things I really love, but let's go check out the ocean. talking to you now with the sun in my eyes just sitting out here just outside of Alani now you can see Alani up here behind me now one of my all-time favorite things to do when I come here to Alani is to just come out to the ocean honestly I know that sounds like a no-brainer but sometimes when you come here you can just seem to get wrapped up in the pool and the offerings the amenities that they have at the resort don't forget you're at the ocean that's all I'm gonna say I'll leave it right there just don't forget you're also right there at the ocean but right now I think I'm getting a little too hungry so I'm going to head back in and get the others and we're going to go get some food at the Makahiki restaurant. We're all seated now at the Makahiki restaurant, ready to go. Take a look at the menu, there's a lot on here. Go ahead and feel free to pause to read. but. Uh, a lot of options here. I'm eyeing something seafood. I'm looking at the, either the local catch of the day or the Atlantic salmon. Now, it used to be a buffet, which I love a good seafood buffet, but that's not the case anymore. You do have the three courses you can pick from, but I will say for this, it does simplify things quite a bit. So for, start, for the starters, I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, Caesar salad. For the entrees, I'm gonna go ahead with the house smoked Atlantic salmon. And then for the dessert, I'm going for that um, I'm going for the warm chocolate toppy brownie. That's the one I'm going to go for. The waitress came and she explained the uh, what the fresh catch of the day was, and it's the yellow fin tuna. It's a local catch that they, bring, they catch it and bring it in every morning. So the chef makes it fresh every day. It's kind of got its own flair every day. It's new on the menu. So this one happens to be a yellow fin tuna, and it, the way she described it looked amazing. So I called the audible. I'm going away from the smoked salmon. I'm going with the yellow fin tuna. Again, that's a fresh catch of the day, and it's on the menu all the time. So just ask them if you if you want to know what that is. Just ask them; they'll tell you. Emily got the chicken and cremini mushroom pasta. Jackson ordered the 12 ounce New York strip steak. So between the three of those, I think we'll definitely have a good one. But uh, the kids, the kids menu is pretty simple. Laurel got a kid's steak. Um, she ordered a medium, and Evelyn got some chicken fingers and French fries. So. Yeah, if you are bringing the little ones, there's plenty of options for them, for them as well. All right, the ahi catch of the day is finally here. Let's give it a shot here. I really love the presentation. You got the rice, the vegetables. It looks like, a, almost looks like asparagus, but it's not. That the uh, tomatoes on top of the ahi with that spread of that tomato soup. It looks delicious. All right, so the ahi tuna, fresh catch of the day. It was prepared deliciously. A little awkward lighting that we're dealing with tonight, apologize. But that's the that little orange, that's a tomato soup that they have a little spread on top. But uh, yeah, oh wow. That is the softest tuna I have. And I will say it's got a tiny kit to it, so be prepared. They did say that they prepared it medium rare, which is actually okay for tuna. Not a big deal. But that, it's not tomato sauce, whatever they have it on. But it is really good. Definitely getting my fix of uh, seafood hankering my fix of seafood while I'm here in Hawaii. All right, the dessert is finally here. We're gonna give this shot. We got the warm chocolate brownie with the uh, truffle sprinkles on top. And of course, a scoop of vanilla ice cream on the side. Let's give this a go. Oh my gosh. Coffee. That's a winner. That is a, indeed a good brownie. Very, very good. That is a perfect brownie. Those toffee crunches on top, perfect. Absolutely delicious. Happy birthday, Lolo! All right, make a wish, sister, before the wind blows. Oh! Ah. Your wish wasn't your fast wish enough. Ready? Ready? Nice. Oh. Good job, Lolo. So from start to finish, the meal was very good. Appetizer was okay. Had the Caesar salad. It was a good Caesar salad. I did like the dressing. Um, 
I was a little disappointed in the selection with appetizers though, because there was three salads to choose from and one tomato soup. I did was able to try both the tomato soup and the Caesar salad. Both were good, but the selection, not that great. Three salads, they should add something else instead of three salads. Secondly, the ahi seared steak was really good. That was fantastic. Uh, cooked perfectly. No complaints there. I like the little spice, the little flares they had there. The rice of, on the side, amazing. The dessert, the brownie, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Your gooey center with a nice scoop of vanilla ice cream on the side. That doesn't get much better than that. Nice way to top the evening. That being said, we are gonna go ahead and sign off. It's been a long day. The kids are exhausted. I'm exhausted. We have a fun-filled day tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to the Polynesian Culture Center. It's gonna be up on the northeast side of the island. It's gonna take about an hour to get there from the Alani Resort. If you're not sure what the Polynesian Culture Center is, stay tuned, You'll, you're gonna like it. I think it's a lot of fun. It basically takes you through different Polynesian islands and gives you a little taste of how they did things historically. So that'll be pretty fun to see. I've done it before. We're gonna take Nana and Papa. This will be their first time there. That being said, we are gonna go ahead and sign off. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you real soon. And remember, adventure is out there. Let me show you a place.